guys, it's Amy. And today we're gonna to be talking about heat presses and easy presses. So um, I'm just gonna show you how to apply some iron-on vinyl to burlap to make um, a cute sign. This is what I made today. So this is a, um, a wood sign that I made probably a year or two ago when I have the tutorial on my blog and I'll link that below. Um, but it's really fun because I can just change out the burlap um, with every season. So I've had a Christmas one and a fall one and I finally decided to do a spring one. So this is the spring one and this is a free um, file in Cricut Access. Um, so, and I'll link that below too. So you can grab the file and make a sign with me. So let's get started. Okay, so here we have um, a heat press and the Cricut Easy Press 2s. Um, so you can see right away that the heat press is a lot bigger. Um, so this takes up a lot of room on my desk. I've had this one for, I don't know, three years or so. Um, so this is heavy. <laughs> so um, since I've taken it out of the box, I haven't moved it. So it's not something that you can take somewhere and press things. So these are, the big and the little is of the Easy Press too. So um, I don't have the middle size, but you can see that this is nice and light and portable. And this one's just cute um, little one here. And these are the mats that you can also get. Um, nice big mats and they each size um, has a different one. And um, so this just helps really bond the iron on to whatever you're doing. So with a heat press, um, I mean, the one nice thing um, about the heat press is that it is bigger. So this is a 15 by 15 size. When you go to press something, you have to push down the handle and really give it a good lock to lock it. And all of the settings are up here. Um, the other harder thing is that the, for this particular model, um, the pressure is this knob. So it's kind of a learning curve on that. It took me a while to kind of figure out how much it needed to be turned, um, but it does have the time and the temperature up here um, with the beeper that will go off. But this one takes about 20 to 30 minutes to heat up. So when you turn it on and heat it up to say 400, probably don't do that very often, say like 305, 330 um, degrees Fahrenheit. And then I have to leave it for like 20 or 30 minutes. So there have been times that I have forgotten about it. So I go start doing something else and an hour later, I'm like, oh my gosh, I have my heat press on in my room. But nothing's ever happened, but that is another downside of that. The easy presses on the other hand um, will automatically shut off after 10 minutes. Saving grace, right? So um, with both of them, you probably want, um, Cricut has a mat or just a Teflon sheet um, to put over um, if you're doing more than one layer, um, just so the other layers don't melt once you've taken the backing off. So let's look at the settings. Okay, so these are all the buttons at the top. Um, this is the handle that you'll hold down, push down on, and there's two different types of pressure. You'll notice when you look at the, the sheet or the interactive guide that there's firm, which means you use two hands and you put most of your body weight on it. So you want it at like about a waist to light pressure, which is one hand and then just about five to 10 pounds body weight. So to turn it on, you're gonna push the on button there. And then to um, change the temperature, you push this once and it will start blinking. And then you go up to what you need it to. So let's say we're gonna do 300. And then I'm gonna push that button and it will start heating up. And then to change the time, you would do this and you can change that back and forth. So right now it's heating up and then you'll see how fast that it goes. And that's already warm up. So let's make our project. So this is just a pre-cut um, size of burlap and I'm just gonna press about three to five seconds just at the very beginning just to get the wrinkles out and the moisture out and this just 
helps the vinyl adhere. So I'm gonna put on my biggest piece of iron on first, which is the wording, and then just get it centered. And then I'm pressing it here. Um, the first one didn't stick very well, so I ended up turning my heat up to 340 and that ended up working. So when you push it on, you push the green button and that starts the time. Then it will go down to 30. And then you're gonna flip it over and press the back side for 15 seconds. And I didn't change my time here. I just watched it till it went down to about 15 or 10 or so and um, took it off. And then I took off the backing. So now you're gonna start working on um, placing the other pieces of vinyl around the iron-on. And just make sure you don't overlap um, the vinyl with the plastic because it will stick underneath it. And again, doing the firm pressure for 30 seconds and turning it over and doing the back side for about 15. And then peeling each section off. And then putting more on. And I just did it in sections just kind of as big as um, the easy press could do. And then applying that protective sheet. And again, keep pressing them with firm pressure for 30 seconds on the front and flipping it over and doing about 15 seconds on the back. So you'll just keep repeating this process till everything is on. until you get, get the last pieces on. And again, pushing that green button so that the time starts and putting that firm pressure on it. And then flipping it over, doing it for about another 15 seconds and then taking the sheets off and that's all there is to it. Now you have a nice, pretty burlap sign. So this is the finished finish project once I added it to the wood frame. Um, I just used some glue dots and stuck the burlap right on there. So there you go, a quick and easy way to make decor um, that you can have in your house um, pretty much year round. You just take the burlap off and add a new um, burlap sign that is right for the season. So anyway, let me know if you have any questions and thanks so much for stopping by.